Hello, I'm Dr. Randy Morris, the Medical Director at IVF1, and this is Infertility TV. Several studies have indicated that during IVF, even when a male has a normal semen analysis, fertilization can fail from 5 to 15 percent of the time. If there is an abnormal semen analysis, the failure rate is even higher. This problem can be easily bypassed by injecting sperm directly into the egg. This is known as ICSI. Some embryos do not have the capacity to develop normally. The longer an embryo is observed, the greater the chance that the IVF team will be able to identify these non-viable embryos and select only the best embryos for transfer to the uterus. Observation for five to six days to find embryos which have reached the critical blastocyst stage is optimal. Even embryos which look perfect under the microscope can have abnormalities which prevent pregnancy. Screening the embryos for chromosome abnormalities, referred to as PGS or PGD, can identify those embryos most likely to implant and develop in the uterus. To learn more, subscribe to Infertility TV now or visit our website at IVF1.com.